Hey guys, UWG Nick here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV. We are continuing from exactly the same place that we left off in the last episode. But in this, this time we'll actually make it through the audience a little bit and go find out what's going on, what's going on over there. The whole city's come to watch. We can't apparently make it through. Nope. All right, standing there to wait is the only thing we got. Jesus, that got materialized. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly, but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here, in Altitia, to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. <laughs> Bless you all. This music, so dramatic. All right, well, now shit, 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 shit should start happening. Knocked. The Empire's here. Yeah, of course they are. I can see them. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Ooh, okay. we get to destroy ships. We got them covered. So, it begins. Indeed, it does. Covenants, rites by which the oracle rouses the slumbering gods and entreats their aid. She's gonna call up Leviathan. Is that supposed to be her singing? <laughs> It is I, <laughs> Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. That was a very strange voice. Please don't step on snake. Hurry, Nolte. 
We gotta be in a hurry. Then the rites already begun. Most likely. Time to lend the hydrian a hand. Oh shit. That did not do as much as I wanted at all. Alright, if I can get him from behind, I can uh, destroy them quite easily. Oh, gotta turn my mouse down. What? Strikes seem to be doing very little damage, I'd say. They're usually the most powerful ones, easy, but. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. <laughs> That's rude. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise. And in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. <laughs> Suck it, Donger. The king will prove himself worthy. <laughs> Trying to. What am I supposed to do? Do I have to click here or something? Come on. Eh, leap. Okay. Man. That cuts cuts the. Uh, oh. <sighs> what was this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Nifts. This will get us in close. Serious. Here's That's a magic wand. Okay, Barry. Okay, quick time event kind of thing. One of those confusing fights again. That is going to be an absolute mess. <laughs> Request her power. Demand her power. Demand her power. Hey, I'm a king. Give it up. 
Adopt a reasonable tone. Maintain a commanding tone. Don't you understand? I'm the king! Any man who has to say that he is king is no true king. Maintain a commanding tone. So, you want to do this the hard way? Fine! We'll fuck you up. I don't think it matters what you... Oh, okay. Well, he's, she's stronger now. I guess it a little bit matters what you choose there. No, nope, defeat Leviathan. Now, this looks like it could be a little bit of a problem. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? So be it. Let's go up there. That looks like a good place to be. I just need to get, keep track of my MP. <laughs> was that, uh, was that parts of the Caribbean music in the background? Oh, you again. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace. Huh, maybe I don't misunderstood something. I thought the Covenant would demand her life, but apparently he's the one killing her. So maybe not. How oh, sweet. But please, Lady Luna Freya. You first. Ah, get up, you pussy. You got shit to do. If I remember correctly, we go pretty much Super Saiyan here. saying like Armiger. I 
need this ability for the snake lady. It's going down on it. It's gonna take a long time. Oh, doing something? I guess that was your attack. Oh, there we go. Oh shit. Hell. All right, here we go. Fuck up his wing. Like I have to say, watching this, it looks absolutely epic. Playing it, it's very, it's very easy. It's, it's very easy and it's very confusing. Some fight in her still. There we go. I should have thought of that earlier. I can just skip it and keep her in target. Not that I know that this will make it any clearer, but.
on all of the things at her. Something. Ah, uh, my clicking is not what it used to be. Ah, uh, Oh, uh, What was that spear? Spear of longitudinous? Yeah, that should have been red. That would have been cooler. All right, so that was a thing. It's done. God coming in. Noctis? Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Right, so she straight up died. Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. That is really nicely animated though. And that I watch over you always. Dear 
Dear Noctis. All right. So does the ring come with a power up? Back with us. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. I think uh, Ignis lost his vision in the battle just now. I had heard mentions of I Ignis going blind, and uh, I guess this was it. I guess he won't be driving us around anymore, though. Right, so now what? This game so far has been all about getting to, uh, what's her name? Luna Freya. And now she's dead, so now what? Revenge on the Empire? Oh, Ignis still has his eyes there. How nice. How carefree this time was. That's a what? That's a half a picture. Oh, this was the discussions. Ooh. You can save that. What? No. Oh, fuck. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, well. We lost the pictures. That was a shame. There was probably a few there I could have saved. The heart of a king. Across the water and onto the rails, the royal retinue makes for Grelea, the imperial capital. Their objective reclaiming the crystal that they might reclaim their homeland. However, the ring's weight proves too much for Noctis to bear. Oh, well, that's a spoiler. The Scourge of the Stars. Several weeks later. I think we're locked. I think we're locked into this right now. That that light is really annoying. So we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. 
Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh. Uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. Hmm. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. Has that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king. But you're a coward. Shut up! Oh, don't do this! I... Glad <laughs> you're a bit of a dick. I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him. Well, God damn it, my eye is itching. There we go. Can I play now soon? Ah, oh, that flickering light is annoying. It doesn't even make any sense. Trains don't do that. Knock this freedom to roam about the train until it pulls into the station. Alright. Walk around until the train arrives. What was that check? Passenger car light switch. Do not touch. But I want to touch it. God damn it. I didn't even make it then. All right, so I guess moving about me is not that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be on foot in Gartanica. Rest. Maybe I won't rest yet. Those men in black are spooking me out. Shh, don't talk about others. All right, men in black. And my bees on this bitch. Think we'll find Will Smith if we go f if we go far enough back. Passing of the Oracle. The Oracle Lady Lunafrey of Tenebrae lost her life when summoning the Hydrin. When the summon when her summoning of the Hydrin went terribly awry, Lady Lunafrey was swept under the Altitian waves alongside her fiance, Crown Prince Noxus of Lucis. Despite falling unconscious for several days, the prince made a miraculous recovery and is currently being treated. That's not really quite what happened. Surprise, surprise with this modern media. The Tree of Castino. Scientists have yet to provide a sound explanation as to why the resource-rich Fodina Castino has been overrun by enormous tree. Some experts insist, however, that this floral phenomenon may have been a paranormal prelude to awakening and, 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 and annihilation of the gods. I don't know why my pronunciation went so wonky there. Hey, Gladio. Luz. Can we go into any of the other carts? Nope. All right. I saw the way you were looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. Was she cute though? There's another girl. I'm just hungry, is all. I'll be waiting right here. Oh, you're boring. Why would I be mad? I think that's why he's wondering. Is 
this gonna stop me from going forward? Is there a reason for me to go this way except for loot? I, Commander Foray, has been deemed accountable for all. In the wake of the Tide Mother's wrath. I, Commander Foray, has been deemed accountable for Altitia's tragedy and sentenced to execution. Lord Ravis Knox Foray was promoted to the Imperial Army's top post amid the turmoil of the failed peace talks. The High Commander's primary responsibility was restoring stability to Lucis. Yet his campaign against the Hydrian ended in disaster, incurring monumental losses for the Empire and collateral damage to the area. Wait, did I hear right? Was he... Ex to be executed? Is that it? Has been deemed accountable for Sentence execution. Interesting. In the wake of the Tide Mother's wrath, the government of Accordo has declared a state of national emergency. On behalf of the nation, I would like to express our relief that King Noctis has survived. That's the lady the we were in the negotiations with. Swept over Altisha left great destruction in their wake. It will take time to rebuild our lives. That said, the damage done to our fair capital would have been far more severe were it not for the aid of the King and the Oracle. First Secretary Klostra also pledged the government would continue its search for Lady Luna Freya, whose current whereabouts remain unknown. They're going to remain unknown for the rest of the game, I feel. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. Giant Grelian Medi Grelian Med Medal of Distinction. All right. Do not enter cleaning in progress. All right, so this is this is where it ends, and then we'll just have to walk all the way back. Uh, I'm gonna cut the walking because it's boring as shit. The train is now arriving at Cartonico something station. I didn't get to rest, but oh well. One step closer to finding the next tomb. Ooh. Gonna start with the laggies now again? No? Okay. Quests! Immediately. Side quests. What's your problem? Oh, please, sir. Could you help me look for Yelro, Jaro, Becky, and Joe? Help you look for who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos. Oh, I my God. I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far. They can barely flap their wings. Oh, they must be so scared. Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. Exactly the kind of... Quest I wanted immediately off the train. If the monsters down there don't kill you first, the smell probably will. What? Was there a gas leak or something? No one knows for sure, and I'm not risking my life going down to find out. If you want to risk yours, though, then be my guest. All right. If you boys are heading into the mine, you best go prepared. Blood sword. Absorbs the health of those it strikes. Oh, that's interesting. Slightly lower in damage, but if it absorbs health, then it could be pretty useful. I'm gonna buy it, at least. I'm the only one who can use it, though. Great sword. 345. Finally a bigger sword for him. What else do we have here? 207. What does he use? 195 train lands mm. ah he's, he's gonna stick with that I think oh no attack is that yeah um yeah okay that's gonna be definitely better for him anyways and uh, Delta daggers yeah you, you're on well, that's actually better all right I'll have one and flame gun. Also better. So we're running out of money here. 
fast. But no worries, we can sell some stuff. We have a shit ton of stuff to sell, actually. We have two two-handed swords, we can sell both of those. Javelin, yes. Uh, let me just deal with the selling part for a bit and I'll come back to you. Alright guys, I shopped around a little bit and uh, put on some new weapons and so on. Now let's see what's happening over here. I take it you've arrived safely, Highness? Yeah. Now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck, and hold your nose. What? Hmm? Thanks for the advice, I guess. Why does this place smell bad? Prompto, There's we're heading out. There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. I'm taking some pictures because I thought this was a cool scene. Oh, hey, kid, me. help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing All is, right. the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts, and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Why? Why ask for help when you can just demand it? Oh, Lord. Oh, that's where we're going? All right. Well, let's get to it then, I guess. Broken harmonica. Hold on, there was an item there as well. Rare coin, huh? Coin collectors. I saw that. Mithril shaft. Kek. <laughs> Alright, can't go there. What in the hell are you? Oh my god, there's... All right, there's four of those things apparently. Now where to? Was I not supposed to come down here? I thought I was supposed to come down here. Didn't Prompto say something about an elevator in this area? Wait, what? What? Or is this like a labyrinth with ladders? And, oh no, there's the... Oh my god. I can hear one of those things. I thought I could. Let's, let's go run along here. There might... Yeah, there's one of them. Little crap, crabby bastards. Come here, little shit. What a sound. Huh. Oh my god, there's probably stuff like in these trains and whatnot. Oh, there's Ignis. No talkie? Oh, you guys. Like, man, the mood really changed after that. In this crowd or crew. There's another one nearby. My guess is that it's on the train. Yep. I help. We've got three of them now. I didn't even think I'd do this. Wait, 
what did that say? Fudina Castaño, quarry quarry boast, boasting the richest ore reserves in all of Niflheim. After the mine shut down, a variety of wild plants dug their roots into the rubble, defying the natural terrain and gradually transforming the arid basin into makeshift marshland. Although the quarry lies in imperial territory, the mines are, aid, are said to house a royal tomb. Local legends say the oldest king in Eos is interred within, but many Carton, Cartonicans dismiss these claims as mere fabrications, tall tales trumped up by imperials trying to appropriate the legacy of Lucis for themselves. The truth about the tomb lies buried somewhere beneath the silt and soil. Some suppose the demon deterring mausoleum was erect, erected as a sign of friendship between kingdom and empire in an age when the two nations enjoyed amicable relations. The scars of war are visible across the land while symbols of peace remain hidden from our sight. Now where's that damn last bird? I have a feeling it's on, like, it sounds like it's on the other side there. So maybe out and in from another door and then we head back, something like that. Not gonna sleep. There's no point to it, I think. Uh, could read it. I'm just gonna grab the item for now. Can I get in? Oh, there's a the little bastard. The best banknote, okay. Very little shit. At least they're easy to spot. That makes four. All right, first side mission done. Uh, kind of came for free. I wasn't really looking for it. Can I look at these? Man, they place these everywhere, but you can't look at them. More like nothing but nature. Okay, so are you guys cool now again? Did you get over that lady? Should I? Okay, I'm gonna run to the other side and then I'm gonna run back and turn in the quest. I'll meet you at the quest giver unless I find something here. I checked both ends of the platform. There were some items, but nothing super interesting. I found a beautiful bottle at one end. Don't know what that's for, oh, but that's the you. coolest thing I Aren't found. Aren't they just the cutest? They're the most adorable choco chicks in the world. They look like good eating. I'll give you that much. And we need to get back to one of those three times the experience soon. Now that Creole my babies greens. are back, I ought to teach them a trick. Why not teach them to stick together? Uh, maybe someone ought to teach you some manners. I'm a king, okay? It was a joke. I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers like that. All right. Now let's head to the thing that we actually should be going to. Yes. Ready to set out. Take Ignis along. I'll manage somehow. Of course Ignis is coming with us. Why wouldn't he? Being blind is is not a detriment. Not to Ignis. His mind is his weapon. Fodina Castino. Once rich in resources, this mine fell out of use in recent years and now serves as little more well, than a blah blah blah. We made it to the quarry. But our destination Ooh. likely lies deeper inside. Feeling a little out of my element. We're a foreign species in this environment. Mind we don't end up prey. Right. Good tip. Ignis walks at a slower pace due to his eye injury. Be sure not to leave him behind. Footing's bad. Watch your step. As best I can. Go oh your own dear base. God, no! Oh, wait. I'm gonna have to drag Is him it along. Too much to ask. The royal procession sticks together. Too much to ask you to shut it. Yeah, exactly. Fuck not. Why does he have a light? <laughs> I guess it's for us to find him when he wanders off somewhere. There is no way this mechanic is going to stay throughout the game, him being this slow. They just wouldn't do that. So. 
I'm pretty sure they'll figure out a way to move around faster soon. I'm not gonna leave him behind though, because I'm pretty sure he won't get any experience in that case. My dudes need that level ups. Rough scales. Well, this looks charming. Okay, wants us to go there. And what is over here? No enemies either. Uh, this seems to go really far away. I'll go up. Strong bone. Where does this go? Like, there's a continuous, uh, continuous path. Yeah, we're gonna head back to that thing that they want us to go to. I'm guessing that that's really where I should be going. Well, I should be going there, but I mean, I don't think there's anything to find anywhere else. Come on, boys and girls. Wait, where did I come up now? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, can I go up here? I can. Alright, so this... The whole thing is just a dungeon. Oh, I couldn't go over. God damn it. Smooth. I have a feeling this this is going to be a frustrating dungeon. Well, let's start by going to the place we should be going and see what's up there. Wait, it led me somewhere else now? Are you boys coming along or not? down below. Whoa, careful, Ignis. <sighs> right. Yeah. Operate. Backup generators cannot be activated without a key. Alright. I think I remember this from... Uh, From Jesse's playthrough. I think we're gonna face like one of those flowery tentacle monster things that existed in at least Final Fantasy VIII. And they part nine. Here. Huh. Wish we could write him a ticket. Nothing Check. but a giant roadblock. Huh. Ironic for a vehicle. If we get his motor running, perhaps we can move it out of the way. There's got to be an on button around here somewhere. Might as well start searching then. Well, I found the on button, but I needed a key. You guys want to chime in on that? There's frost here? Oh yeah, there is. I'll have some. That wasn't much. Cannot be activated without a key. Alright, let's go around then. We're not going to finish this dungeon in this video. I'm going to have to cut it short because we have been playing for a while already and I'm going this to the This looks sauna. promising. Is it operational? We'll see. But we'll dick around a little bit more here before we give up. Hey, what are you stopping for? I'm not. Let's see here. In case of power failure, use backup generators. There's a key in the shed. 
So where is this shed? Well, if we knew where it was, we wouldn't be looking. Which means it's gotta be somewhere we haven't looked yet. Watch out, Iggy. Oh. Oh. I'm wondering if my, uh, what do you call it, that Ragnarok Blade had some ability that I haven't been considering, because I feel like my Warp Strikes are much weaker suddenly. Use Armiger to way. had it. No, you weren't. It's just. Uh... Didn't hear what they said. Let me check my gear. Noctis, Engine Blade 3, Ragnarok. A, br a brilliant glaive that amplifies the power of kings, allowing the wielder to deliver devastating warp strikes. That is exactly it. In that case, I don't want to change it, I think. Because I do so much with warps that it really doesn't. Does not pay. Highness. What? Just come with me. It's over yonder, guys. By the way, why am I not getting the picture prompts? I think I'd be getting those since I had a mission to take pictures of these things. Wait, can I go up here? Apparently. Wait, Push does this fake me out? This. It fakes me out. Oh, that is so cheap. Yeah, it will not let me through. What about here? Oh, here I could go. Search for the shed, yeah. What oh, we found the shed. Ooh, there's electricity. Oh, it's full. More frost. We'll have it. Search for the shed. Is that not the shed? Is this a... Ooh, it's a campsite. We are gonna camp here. We're gonna end the episode with camping. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much for uh, watching the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. There's more Final Fantasy. There's more Far Cry 5. Well, actually, Far Cry 5 haven't started, but it's coming. There's more Subnautica, Path of Exile. This channel is full of goodies. So subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, we're going to end it here. I think we had a pretty decent episode. A pretty epic battle in the beginning. And uh, we're going to leave it on a bit of a sadder note, I have to say. The Fellowship is kind of falling apart, it seems. But uh, I'm pretty sure these boys will get it back together pretty soon. We just need to get over this little hump. And that is what we'll do in the next episode. But for now, we're going to say bye-bye.